Hey guys, Rick Capcella here. Looking forward to coming out and talking to the SME group on Friday over breakfast about uh, my life since television. You know, a lot of people have asked me, what were you thinking? Leaving a cush job in TV where you sat behind the anchor desk? I explained, well, you know, you had to go in at like 2 o'clock in the afternoon and often had to come home around 11 at night after, you know, the late news. Now, I get to start at like 6 o'clock in the morning and stay all the way through to midnight. I thought some of you might relate to that just on a you know venture capital early business kind of play. Uh, the news business has been uh, just extraordinary uh, over the course of the last two years. Uh, I can't get over uh, the growth of this little company that started out with a couple of radio stations broadcasting our news and a digital platform, of course, that is home base for us, Bring Me the News. Uh, and in two years, uh, the growth is at a place where, you know, we're totally statewide. Uh, thousands and thousands of broadcasts throughout the state every month. Uh, Fifteen employees. You know, how do we get there through the course of the last couple of years, which have really been anything but a growth market, particularly in news? It's an interesting tale, and it's something I'm looking forward to talking with you about. Also, with the production company, IE Network, you know, that's all about... Uh, working with corporations to occupy more of a, of a space in mainstream media these days. Uh, what's happening in television and radio and print all over the country right now is that they're in a position where they're just nowhere near as well leveraged as they used to be, not as well monetized as they used to be. And the opportunity there is that uh, what I think is going to happen, you're going to see companies uh, taking roles like, you know, the Phillips 66 hour again. You're going to go back to those days when TV wasn't so well monetized, and you had things like Mutual of Omaha's Wild Kingdom. Uh, that opportunity today is extraordinary, actually. You're not just having the ability to do simple brand extension, though that's there in spades. You actually have the ability now to move things, to influence people, to change behavior for the public good. That's the area that I'm interested in, where high public purpose, which is journalism on its best day, meets commercial enterprise. That's what we're looking for. That's what we're trying to drive. And that's a lot of the conversation that I want to have with you on um, Friday, September 16th, at the uh, SME Breakfast at 744. I hope I get a chance to see you there. I'm really looking forward to it.